the proxy design pattern provides us with a solution for those cases in which we deal with um, heavy objects, objects that consume huge resources and I mean those cases in which uh, our application uh, should manage, should hold um, a collection of objects that each one of them represents something and each one of them consumes uh, lots of memory. For example, you can imagine um, an application that holds a collection of um, objects that represent, uh, that each one of them represents a video. In such a scenario, each one of them should be, we can expect it to be a very heavy object. Well, in some cases there won't be any problem, but in others, this um, uh, scenario might consume huge resources, huge memory resources, and slow down our application. In order to solve this scenario, we can use, we can implement the proxy design pattern. And the proxy design pattern is about uh, defining a new class uh, that implements the same interface the original class implements and define uh, this new class in a way that uh, objects instantiated from that uh, new class won't consume uh, lots of resources and each and every one of them will be able to hold a reference for the heavy object, the real object, the object that uh, represents a real video clip. So uh, doing so, uh, we can write the code, imp implement the method in our new class in a way that the other object, the heavy object, will be instantiated only when needed. So in this case, for example, uh, we have the original class, the video class, it uh, uh, describes a video clip, and we have the proxy class, its name is video proxy. Uh, when working with a collection of video proxy objects, we won't consume uh, lots of memory and only when we invoke the play method on a specific video proxy object, only then the real uh, class, the video class, uh, will be instantiated and the very same play method we invoked on the proxy object will be delegated and will be invoked on the real object, the real object, the object that represents a video clip. This way um, we save resources and our application might execute faster. If we try to execute this code sample, we can expect the following outcome.